Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Kingdom Faith for Doors channel. My name is Miguel Fuentes, and today is Saturday, and uh, today is going to be a, a, a topical, topical sermon today, and uh, we're going to be talking about in everything you every, in everything we do, do it for God, or I, I'll just say in everything, do it for God. And we're going to be taking a look at Colossians chapter 3 verse 17. So if you can, turn with me there. And uh, before, we get, before we get into the scriptures, let's go ahead and pray first. Amen. Ready? Let's get in. Uh, let's go and pray. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, Lord, we just uh, thank you, Lord, for today. Thank you, Lord, for all that you've done, Lord. Lord, forgive us of any sin that we have committed. Lord, wash us clean by your blood. Father, help us, Lord, to understand your word. Lord, we just thank you for who you are, Lord, and we, we praise you. We glorify you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. Colossians chapter 3 verse 17 says, And whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Paul made the address to the church of Colossus. And, uh, you know, this reminds me of, of, you know, no matter what you do, do it for God. Don't do it just for making money. Don't do it just to please other men. Don't do it out of pride or ignorance. But do it for the Lord. You know, whatever you do, you know, your business, your, your, your job, your hobbies, your ministry, do it for the Lord. For example, you know, uh, for example, you know, like, like my job working at Walmart, you know, I'm doing it for the Lord. I'm not, I'm not doing it just for get a paycheck. Okay. And, and for the outdoor ministry, you know. And, and, and really not only educate people about the wildlife that is around me, but also understand who God is. And, and, and preaching of the gospel is what I do. Secondly, the character of you is based on God. Having a relationship with God will make you transform into his image. Okay, Moses after he was with God in 80 days and nights into Mount Sinai, the glory of God shone upon Moses' face that the people of, of, of Israel were, you know, fear and trembling. You know, this is, um, this is after when God told Moses, they're worshiping the, the golden calf. Go down there and, you know, and see for yourself. And Moses got mad and uh, destroyed the tablets of the Ten Commandments. And, um, yeah, you know, it, it, it's, you know, personally, you know, I, I truly understand why the Lord has, has uh, has me do this uh, do this uh, do this sermon because you know as I as I reflect on it you know I'm do, I'm doing it for God I'm not doing it for myself you know and whatever the Lord leads I shall go with them if the Lord want me to uh, to be a missionary. I'll go ahead and do what the Lord asked me to do. 
in everything we do, give thanks to God. You know, I give God thanks. I give God the praise and the glory. You know, it's because of Him my life changed. Because of Him, I understand who am I in Christ. Because of Him, I had a deep root in a relationship with God like never before. There's life in the kingdom of God. We are ambassadors of his kingdom. And because of that, you know, I, I truly understand who God is. I, I truly understand why why it is that I do, you know. Even though I'm not perfect, I'm not, you know, I don't know everything. But God gave us the praise and the glory and God is the one who 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 is um, almighty and and understanding who God is 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 what God has called me to do um, so the being said I thank God for watching may God bless you may God keep you See you guys again next time. Bye.